the worms that invade your brain once you consume them. They can move throughout your body your eyes, your tissues and most commonly your brain. They leave doctors puzzled in their wake as they migrate and settle to feed on the body they are invading, a classic parasite, but this one can get into your head. It had moved from one side of the brain to the other very few things move in the brain, says Dr. Efrosi Igkriaklotz is about a British man found to have a tapeworm moving inside his brain in 2013. This form of tapeworm had never been seen before in the United Kingdom. The patient, who was of Chinese descent, had recently visited China, which along with South Korea, Japan and Thailand, has more regular occurrences of the parasite known as Spirometra ariaceae europei. Four years earlier the man had first experienced symptoms, such as headaches, which the team of doctors at a Debrookes hospital, in Cambridge, had treated as tuberculosis. But then he returned. When he reappeared, he had new symptoms, says Kriaklotzes. The worm was now pushing on a new part of his brain, causing seizures and weakness in his legs. The condition associated with his infection was in fact spargosis. There is no known drug to effectively treat the infection meaning that upon diagnosis doctors had to be quick to remove the worm surgically. Read, are we closer to HIV vaccine? Just 300 infections of the Spirometra tapeworm were recorded between 1953 and 2013, but they are thought to be more common in parts of Asia. The rural nature of more affected populations means numbers are widely unknown and very little is known about the worms. These worms are pretty mysterious, says geneticist Haley Bennett from the Wellcome Trust Sanger Institute, in Cambridge whose team recently sequenced the geome of the rare worm. We know it has a very complicated life cycle. The adult form of the spirometra tapeworm.